Tony from CassetteComeback.com. Two videos in two days, you lucky, lucky people. But I'm doing this one straight off the hip because I've just got literally a new delivery. And I played around with these for about 10 minutes and I've decided I need to make a video on them. So what are they? Standards audio cassette tape. Now, if you do a search for these, You'll see there were some threads on tape heads about them late last year. And these are not hard to get. You can get them on eBay, you can get them on Amazon. Of course you can't get them in the EU on eBay or Amazon. Why, why would anyone in the EU have any of these, you know? But they are available. But I had to try them out. So why did I have to try them out? Well, it's because of this text. The technique and complete set of machinery supplied by TDK Japan, made in China. Hmm, that frequency response graph looks a bit wrong. But let's look at the cassette itself. It's not unpleasant looking. It does look a bit type zero with the paper label, but it's not unpleasant looking. But it's this TDK thing. What's that all about? now? Because these are readily available and the Chinese made, I don't know if this is a brand new production. They only seem to have cropped up in the last year or so, but I don't know if they're a brand new production or not. But let's see if there's anything to this TDK or whether this is just another Chinese Type Zero, like you get off Wish and you can get in Poundland in the UK. Now, the first thing that struck me about this is the shell. This is a nice sturdy shell and it's screwed. But I was looking at it. Do you do you know this little triangle dot at the bottom there and this grid pattern all the way around? It reminded me of something. It reminded me of the mid 80s TDKD and if we look the grid pattern's the same the little triangle and dot is the same. Hmm, and it goes all the way around on both of them. The middle window is different, we've got a grid pattern on the TDK and it's dots on this. But it's either a very good clone of this really good, I mean this is my favourite D of the lot. It's either a very good clone of this shell or it could be that they are actually using old TDK moulds to make this shell. So we've got a, a copier-like shell. What about the actual tape itself? Well, let's have a look at the tape. So let's get the old Mr. Winder in. Wind it on a bit. Ooh, I need some batteries. Okay, that's wound on. Hmm, as you can see there, the TDK seems to wind a bit freer. But if we look at the tape side by side, there's not a matter, massive a lot of difference in the colour. This one's slightly browner, but it's very well calendared. It's nice and shiny. There's no visible lines on it. Hmm. Interesting. So I'll tell you what, let's fire up the dragon and have a little play. The truth. Okay, so let's take the standards. I've already biased and calibrated the deck up. And let's have a look. Test tone's coming. Okay, the level is very solid. Let's check the bias. Just to give it a little tiny tweak. Other than that, again, just a little tweak. There we go. It's very solid. Okay, so let's now try the 86D, of which it seems to share a very similar shell. Okay, the levels on the D are 
actually a little bit lower, but you know, these little flickerings don't mean a great deal in the grand scheme of things. It's virtually there. Let's turn it over to the bias. And again, apart from the odd flickering, I've not had to touch anything between the standards and the TDKD. Similar shells apart from the little dots in the middle and they seem to have the same level and bias requirements. This is going to be interesting so let's have a record now and I'm using a song I've used before it's called a rising wave because it has good bass on it and I'm going to play around with this so I'm going to play with the levels a bit and see how much it takes to saturate this. So again this is from the YouTube audio library and it's called a rising wave.
So what did you make of that? It was peaking at plus seven at some points. No dropouts. And it's Chinese made. Let's go and have a chat. The worst thing about these cassettes is the name. They couldn't have picked a more generic name if they tried. And this makes it very hard for me to ascertain who actually manufactures these. If I manage to track them down, I want to have a chat with them because let's look at the evidence. We have very similar shells. Like I say, apart from the grid pattern here and the dots here, very similar shells. We have two tapes here that seem to take the same level of bias and the same record fine level. Even the cases are the same. Look at the hub retainers on this and the hub retainers on this. I don't know if you can see it there. There's like a, a little set of serial numbers. Let's see if we can get it to focus in. Some little numbers there at the top. They're there on this as well. It says BDOA on this one. And this one it says, it looks like Gaia. But they're both there. If we look here at this part, with that little part there and the little molding snap there, little part there, molding snap there. Maybe they bought TDK's tooling for the cases and the shells. Maybe they bought everything because the tape reacts very, very similarly to this vintage D. I don't want to sit my neck out now and say, oh, this is the best new cassette you can buy because I can't ascertain right now if this is a new cassette or if this is an old cassette that someone's just found a load of in a warehouse or indeed if this is old cassettes loaded with genuine TDK tape. I can't ascertain when these were made but the fact that they seem to have cropped out of the woodwork over the last year makes me wonder and previous Chinese production of tape, let's be honest, they were mostly type zero. I run this a bit hot. This was peaking at plus seven and it wasn't distorting. I could hear the top end rolling off, which is natural if it's based on a D. But later on in that video, when I was running it at three, this sounded superb. It really did. And if this is a genuine new production Chinese tape, then hallelujah. This means something. But like I say, my reaction is subdued because I can't ascertain if it is brand new or if this is new old stock or if this is indeed even older stock using genuine TDK bits that they just put together in China. I mean, if I saw a website address on this or an email address or something it would mean more it would mean it's newer but the fact that they've had to say the technique and complete set of machinery supplied by TDK says certainly that these obviously were made after TDK had discarded its stuff and got out of the tape game so all I can say is these are well worth buying. Now, I've made this video in a rush because I, I was so blown away by how good these were. I was, I was expecting this to be, you know, oh, TDK made hyperbole and they'd be junk, but they're not. The evidence here says there's a lot of TDK DNA in these standards. And I just want to make the video. I have got some of these. They'll be put up on my website later if you're in the EU, you want to try some out. Like I say, I, I do this for, for all of us. I get some in so that you can all have a shot in the EU. But if you're in America, you can get these on eBay. Um, I think you can get them on Amazon as well. And if the price seems reasonable to you, I think they're probably maybe about, I think they're about $3 each. So I don't know what I'm going to sell them for because I have to factor in the shipping price and my VAT and everything. But it's a brand, well, it's not brand new, but it's a C90 that's as good as a vintage D. 
and then, like I say I will dig more and I'll update in the community tab in fact if you haven't seen the community tab on YouTube I post little things in there like new cassettes I'm doing or uh, links to my radio shows etc thanks for listening to them but I'll update you if I get any further with these because if these are brand new and if these are in a ready supply trust me you people I'm going to buy as many of these as I can because I think to be fair they look good but they sound great and with all that TDK DNA in them they give me a lot of confidence okay so thanks for watching Please like and subscribe, and until next time, happy taping. Bye-bye.